Charlie Hoffman now from just off the green at four. It's just slightly back up the hill as well. And a good stroke there, there Charlie Hoffman. Quite a start for Charlie, four birdies in the first five holes. Wow. That's the one thing that playing in the wind, it really tests you whether you can control your distance or not. Charlie Hoffman for birdie in the outright lead. Oh, just powered it right through the break. There you see the speed we've been talking about. Back at seven, Charlie Hoffman on the tee. Playing very well, four under through six. Look like driver that he went with. If he hit it solid, he should be able to. It's going to be right of the green. That's actually not too bad of a spot. At the seventh. Get up. Should roll out a little bit. He had just enough angle there. If he was further up into the fairway with less angle, that would have been a more difficult shot, much more. He's going to try to drift it in from the left. Down. Right over the top of it. You heard him say, get down. Can he be the first to get to nine under par? No. Not yet, anyway. A lot of run out on these greens. All these guys are running at three, four feet by. Lost this one up in the air. It's on a good line. Yeah, that's really good right there. Going uphill. Good chance. Yeah. yeah. Get left and go. Oh, he floated that up, and the wind's got it now. Yeah, it's going to just trickle off the front. Peter, this is a method I thought a lot more players would defer to with these aprons playing the way they are. He's really got to skirt those sprinklers, and he did a great <laughs> job of that. <laughs> Ma'am, can you turn your ringer off, please? Hitting his second to par five. Going at it with three wood. Land it softly. The wind's out of the left. Yep, good shot. He's kind of down there where Stenson was. Let's see if he can do better. Long putt will run away just a little bit at the end. Oh, good line. How's that? Hey, how good is that? We talked about comparing it to Hendrick Stenson's eagle try from that similar range. Six iron. Wind pushing hard from left to right. Oh, got a hold of that one. It lies pretty good. He's able to get the club on the back of the ball, but then into the grain there on the fringe, and that's what ate it up. Mm, just dove to the left at the end. And up ahead at 13, this Charlie Hoffman for his par hit it over the green, had a very difficult pitch. One of those squarely thick lies. Tie for the lead. Yep. Boy, Charlie's playing well. Hoffman to take the lead all by himself. Yep. He's got it rolling with that club today. And double figures and a one shot lead. Yes, dead center for Charlie Hoffman. Proud. Seven under on his round. That's a three quarter swing. Headed a little left. And he's got enough green to work with. That's not a tough bunker shot for him. For the leader. Good lie. Should be enough green. How about this? Oh, Charlie Hoffman. So, yeah, there's, there's some of these bunker shots when they have a good lie and there's just that right amount of green to work with. That wind out of the right. A lot of guys are aiming at the bunker down the right side and trying to turn it over. This fairway tilts to the left a little bit too. That's just fine. In fact, that compact swing, very repeatable. 
And he put it out to the right, expecting the wind to push it, and it just didn't get any push to that left, so. Four shots back of that man, Charlie Hoffman, from just off the green. Almost exactly the same putt Tiger had, oh, but Charlie. different result. Wow. Yikes. Charlie Hoffman, that is a 63 for Charlie, one off the course record by Justin Rose a couple of years ago, and look at that scorecard. 